Good morning. Get happy 2014. So happy new year to everyone. Um, I'm just coming to you today with a quick tutorial on how I did um, a pair of earrings that I had on a video that I made. So um, these are the earrings. Everybody loved these earrings. And they were, you know, just a pair of earrings that I put together because I liked the, the I liked the print that the young lady had um, did with these. And, you know, I don't know her name, but I think it's Ash or something like that. So, shout out to Ash. I don't sell these. I just like the print. I seen it online. I was looking for a lady with an afro and seen it online. So, I, um, you know, just made a copy and threw it on some photo paper. So, you know, just to jump right in with the tutorial. So, the materials that I used to make this pair of earrings was some photo paper. So, you know, you don't have to use this photo paper, but this is the photo paper that I use. And I believe it, it's the glossy, so you want to get something high gloss. And this, this project of this pair of earrings is super inexpensive. I mean, super, super duper inexpensive. And then I use some, wait for it, laminating paper. That's it. So I, you know, I use a program on my computer called um, Jocks Print Shop Pro. And with Jocks Print Shop Pro, you know, you're able to create a shape and um, print out, you know, print out the shape. So I think I use something like some circles or whatever and I copied a couple of the circles and um, printed it out so I was like this here but when I made this one these were so big it just didn't fit right so I kind of you know shaped it down a little bit so you know once I redid it and revamped it I was able to go back in and you know shape it out a little more to where it is a complete circle so this is what i came up with so the name of the uh, software that i use was jock print shop pro um so i just printed out a, on a piece of uh well actually i inst i didn't use these um print paper i actually used the full sheet the full eight by ten sheet of paper and then i you know went in changed up the design putting it into a uh what do you call it into a, a circle and printed it out so then i got this and just of course cut around each one once i was finished with the you know cut now i just took it put it in the uh a lam you know laminate paper Oh, it's not covered up. Okay, here we go. Put it in the laminating paper, sealed it, and I put both of them in. Took it in the laminating machine, a laminating machine, and just, you know, laminated it. And then cut it around the circle. Took my, um, oh, shucks. I am so not together today. I'm sorry. I've been doing so many other projects until other types of projects until I'm just all over the place. But I took my paper punchers. This same paper punchers I've used in probably a majority of the videos that you see me do with my um, earrings. And just, you know, punched a couple holes on it. I got this from Bead Landing. I got this out of my local Michaels and made it to the length that I desire. So I'm not quite for sure, but I usually count it and it's probably about 15 or 20 lengths with some small or you know not the real big but the smaller jump rings and what I did do with it you know just to keep everything in order I just put them together like this and then pop pop that way the, the holes match and then took my uh, jump rings put them in and with my chain that was already measured through another jump ring at the top can you see it? Yeah, a jump, another jump ring at the top and then added my ear hook wire. And then you can also do these with studs. I know a lot of studs that I get out of um, Michaels, they have like a little hoop on them and, you can, and it has like a little ball and you can get those out of your local Walmart. Or not Walmart, I'm sorry, out of your local Michaels as well. I may have gotten it out of the Michaels, I'm not for sure, but I'll show you what I'm talking about if you're not really, you know, familiar with what I'm, what I'm talking about. But these are... 
actually let me just see because it might come through better if I just leave it in the glass so this is what I'm talking about and these here they have like little holes on the bottom of it and you could just add the chain this way if you prefer having a stud versus the ear hook wire but this is what I'm talking about and those are you know really cute if you just want to have the stud on it and with this you can do this with virtually any picture if you want a picture of you and your husband your kids your grandkids a cousin whatever or you know if you want to do something like I did you see a picture online and you like it you know just go ahead and copy it and laminate it now also if you you know want it to be a little bit if you want to spend a little bit more money and you want it to be a little bit more let's say sturdier you can also use the um oh my god what is this stuff called oh i can't think of what it's called i don't i can't remember it's the epoxy you can use the epoxy and with those i use you know because a little bit goes a long way with the epoxy so what I use is these trays here. You got to make sure they're, you know, clean because whatever you put in there and you lock it in with that epoxy is going to show up on your, um, on your project. So you want, I use these things here, these soap molds, and then I just cover it. You know, once I fill it, I cover it so no dirt can get in because you have to let this sit for like three to two days but you know just check on it or whatever just let it sit and then you know they have the different shapes so whatever i'm doing like with this circle one here let me show you with this circle one here i just took it stuck it in here stuck it in here not this in particular one and then you know well what you want to do first you, you want to pour a little bit of the epoxy i mean a little bit because a little bit goes a long way a little bit of the epoxy and then you got to think the more you pour in here the thicker your item is going to be so you know you want to cut it to the shape of the whatever you're doing a little bit smaller stick put a epoxy in first stick it in and then layer it with the epoxy you want to give it a little bit uh you want to cut your item or your image a little smaller than the actual shape just so it can seal around the whole the whole thing so that's one of the you could do with the epoxy and then you know i use michael's a lot because michael's has the coupons and i'm a coupon girl um and i don't want to pay full price for nothing and that epoxy is like 24 dollars for a, a kid or you know whatever the little kid is like 24 dollars. so i get the bead landing epoxy um you know use my coupon 50 percent off there you go so, and these also came from Michael's, um, their art mines, the soap molds. If you have something else that you want to use, that's great. I also see some um, tutorials on YouTube where they have a lady who does, um, you know, this as well. And she has like a little dome piece that she uses where it stops the um, stuff from pouring over. And that's, you know, I haven't tried that. Because I'm not going to spend necessarily $20 on that kind of stuff. I found the cheap method for me. That's for me. But, you know, you do what you choose to do with your with your projects. Now, on the other end, I actually made these with the epoxy. Ooh. And it, you know, shows through. This is where it didn't get it all the way. But... You know, I don't plan on selling these pair. I plan on actually wearing these pair. So this is what it looks like once, you know, you're all said and done. And it has a nice little shine on it. You can wear it as a necklace. These are the epoxy ones. Or, you know, if you don't want to spend that money and you have some a, a laminate machine and some laminated paper. Laminated paper is like, what, $4 at the most? And you have some printer paper. Most people have printer paper. So you can go buy some inexpensive um, photo paper at the dollar store. I've seen some at the dollar store. And you can print up a couple of these on the... Bam. Print, print them out. Cut them out. Laminate them. Cut them out. Rock them. Put some holes in them and rock them. It's just that inexpensive. You don't have to go, you know, spend a lot of money. And it's not that hard. You just got to be able to think outside the box. Um, but for me, I wanted to try a little bit of everything to see what I like. Because when I'm selling some 
jury, I'm not going to sell somebody some laminated sheet of paper. I'm going to, you know, spend a little bit more money and give you something that is worth it. You know, anybody can go print some paper, laminate it, and cut it out and throw it on an ear hook wire or whatever it is. So, you know, that's pretty much what it is for that in particular project. Just what you need is your laminating paper, an image, some printer paper, and a laminated machine. Or if you don't got a laminated machine, the iron works just fine. Just make sure that you um put a you know a, a, a towel or a piece of cloth over it and let and you know iron it right on out. And that works just fine as well. So um you know that's pretty much all I have to say. Oh, I do want to show you the um epoxy that I use just in case you're interested. From the local Walmart, or not Walmart, oh Lord, I'm about to send y'all to Walmart now, you said it, from, um, who is it, uh, Michaels, or Hobby, I'm sure Hobby Lobby probably sells it too, I'm not quite for sure, I never, I didn't get mine at a Hobby Lobby, but this is the kit that I got for the epoxy, so you can see, it smells like some has slipped out. Okay, and um, you know what I can say with this is just read your instructions. It's made to lock in um pictures into you know that cast. So this is what I get. I got this out. It comes in a whole kit. The kit comes with the hardener, the resin. You know, you have some uh, smaller molds in there. I didn't use those because these are really small. It also comes with you know a mixing tool, two cups. Another little uh, template, some paper. It comes with, you know, some jump rings, uh, some eye pins, a chain, and uh, a little drill. Because, like, sometimes the stuff is a little thick, so you want to be able to drill. It comes with, you know, stuff that I didn't use, but you might feel find it beneficial. And maybe I will use it at one point, but I just didn't use it with what I was using it for. So this is pretty much everything that comes in the kit. A little mixer, the drill, cups, hardener, da da da. The instructions, everything is inside of here. I got this at old Walmart. It was like $25. I got it on a 50% off coupon when they, you know, they have those a couple times a year. Or even use 40%. I mean, really, what's that that extra 10% if this is something that you really want to do? And this is what I use. If you find something else, hey, let me know if it's cheaper. If it works just as good, try this. Get your, your 40% off coupon. Sign up for the wall, um, Michael's um, what do you call it? Coupons or whatever. Go online and subscribe to their whatever that whatever. And, um, you know, get your coupons. You can go online on their store on your smartphone and just go off, you know, their website and pull it up and get your 40% off. But the good thing about it is you, they send you the coupons. You go on, you know, pull up their app. You see what coupons you have and you're ready to go. So you already know prior to going into the store that you already have your coupons. So that's the good thing with the Michaels. And then, you know, you can also do that at um, Hancock, Joann's, um... Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, I have their app as well on my um, phone, and I always get theirs. Theirs usually universal, 40% off off of one single or uh, regular price item. Straightforward. Michaels, they try to be a little slick on you. You know, they put issue these 50% off coupons and then put it for regular price, but then want to put everything on sale. See, so they slick. So you got to, um, you know, just watch. Get your, Use your 40, 50% off coupon or whatever it is. Go in there, pick up the resin. And keep it moving. Read the instructions good. You know. And then there you go. That's if you want to do it with that. Get you two of these. Of the soap. Of the soap. Uh, I'm just dropping everything Lord. Of the uh, soap molds. And they have some that don't. You know are all one shape. Or you can buy one. Or you know however you choose to do it. Buy two. And then you can cover it with um, some. Clear, clear wrap or whatever it is, uh, a cloth, whatever, just something to keep the dust out of it because uh, you don't want any dust on your in your project when you get finished with it. And then, you know, you have this. Voila.
And it's real shiny. You can see a little shine off of it. And it's flexible. And the good thing about the resin, when it dries, it kind of shows clear so that you don't see all the lines from the photo paper. So, that's a good thing. So, I'm about to go ahead and close this out. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Me and that is not more so a tutorial, but an information on how explaining you how I did it. Because I'm not about to go back through that to tell you how do a tutorial on showing you how to laminate. I mean, we've been doing that since kindergarten. So, that's what I did. And then, this one, the, the epoxy won't take too long. So, we'll be here two, three days trying to you know go through it and it's just very simple they have you know tutorials on here and i don't want to come and do another tutorial on something that you know on the same thing so this is what i use soap mold epoxy printed image off of uh the internet google whatever shaped it using my jocks print shop pro and cut some paper scissors and that's it jump rings chain if that's what you so choose to in an ear hook wire or one of these all right y'all it's been fun have a happy 2014 i'll see you on the next tutorial